the Marlene Dole Theater. My name is Miss Margaret, Margaret Edwardowski, and I'm the Executive Director of Y Arts. Y Arts is the Arts and Humanities branch of the YMCA, so we serve all the Ys in the area as well as community centers and schools with arts programming. So this is our second summer doing theater camp, and we're so excited to have it back. We have amazing staff that have made this a wonderful experience for all these superstars behind me. So I want to uh, mention two people that you'll see in the show, which is uh, Miss Kelly and Miss Summer. Yeah. And they get a week long is a whirlwind to put a show up. So they are amazing. And also a huge thank you to everyone at the South Oakland Family YMCA, especially Ms. Shamir, for welcoming us. Um, these things aren't done alone. It's a team sport, so it's been great to team up with them. Uh, you'll see Seth in the booth. And you saw the lighting and, and sound magic happen. And then you'll see uh, Jess around here taking photos and videos. She's our program director. I'm not going to talk yet. Uh, I'm not going to talk more because there's a lot of cool stuff to see. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for being with us. I hope you have a wonderful time. Hello, hello. I am Kelly, uh, Boat Check Patriot. I just want to say uh, thank you for lending us your children. We had so much fun this week. What we did this week is like insane. When I talk to all my theater friends, they're like, wait, you're going to do, you're going to write a play in one week and perform it on Friday for four days. Four days. Four days, six, 20 hours, right? 20 yeah. hours, write a play and get it ready for a performance with full tech and everything. This guy is amazing. Um, and these kids are amazing. What this is about is having fun. It's about taking their creativity and we learn about yes and. So we have, um, this is the Fables Court, so we have fairy tale, fairy tale characters like the Big Bed Wolf and um, Jack and the Beanstalk and Alice in, from Alice in Wonderland. Uh, and then we have other characters that we just made up, like Yugaku, right? Um, so we go to a JoJo, and then yes, that's okay. It's not in any fairy tale that I know, but you know what? Yes and. So that's what this week was about. Yes, and um, ex exploring with each other, working as a team, and um, and I'm super proud of all of them. So without further ado, enjoy the show. <laughs> Hello, I'm Duff Llewellyn. And this is the Fables Court. As always, this production is brought to you by TKD, the Knights Dojo. This week's episode is the trial of the big, the bad, the big bad wolf. We'll be right back after these commercial messages. Hi, do you want someone to be spied on for you? Just come to us, the Knights Dojo, where we can have anybody spied on for you. TKD, call now. Thank you. Do you like bacon? Well, if you do, the best bacon in town is from the Three Little Pigs. Oh, thank you. you can't have the commercial. Sit back down. <laughs> Anywho, Mother Goose has now sponsored this. I hope you all love tons of fun bacon. Let's go and enjoy this show. Tonight. On Fables Court, we shall bring you the story, and nothing but the story, the facts and nothing but the facts. The names have not been changed to protect the innocent, or the whatever. Anyway, today's case is the case of a wolf in sheep's clothing, or should I say the wolf in grandma's clothing. Alright everyone, let's go to the court and watch. Alright! For the Honorable, yeah, yeah, that's right, you two. Oh, what? Yeah. For the Honorable, Mother Goose. <laughs> <laughs> you may be seated. 
And now we call the accused to the stand. Mr. Wolf, you have been brought to this court to face the horrible crimes of destroying houses. To cow! Well, I felt awful about knocking down the poor pigs' houses. 
And so I chased that so that I could apologize. I am not the runner I used to be. Because that, that, that time I, I got to his brother's house, I was, sim I was completely out of breath. I was huffing and puffing and so badly that I s had to stop and catch my breath. Not realizing I, what I was doing, I leaned up against the brother house of, and it just fell down. So you did not blow the house of sticks down? It just fell when you leaned on it? Is that correct? Yes. You see, they were just like tiny, they were just sticks. Objection! <laughs> If you pigs don't stop interrupting, I will make sausages out of you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what came over me. Now, Mr. Wolf, do you swear that this story is the truth? Yes, Your Honor. I mean, your mother. Oh. I mean, my mother. I mean, Mother Goose. <laughs> okay, Alice, your turn. Well, since you took all my questions, the court calls the three little pigs to the stand. <laughs> As beat up on the fable court, on the airways of Mother Goose, put your hands on this book and stick this on off. Then you take your name. Thank you. Thank you. Yum. <laughs> Do solemnly swear to tell the truth. Nothing but the truth, so help you, Mother Goose. We do. <clears throat> Thank you, Breakfast. <gasps> I mean, <laughs> somebody. <laughs> the prosecution may question the witness. So, Wiggly Wiggly and Bacon, please tell us your so I was at home and I heard a door-to-door -door salesman. They're so annoying. Yeah, totally. Totally. Hold on, Michael. So what did you do next? He said let me in, and I said no, and he got mad. And he said, I have to show you something, and I didn't believe him. And I said, I'll let him in by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And then I heard a whoosh and a hug, and the next thing you know, I was standing in a pile of straw. <laughs> Oh, you poor thing. I can't imagine how upset you were. It must have taken you a long time to build that house. Well, no, actually. I just threw it together in a few hours. I mean, yeah, it took forever. <laughs> I bet you just broke down and cried. Well, no, I ran to my brother's house. I mean, I ran to my brother's house and then I cried a lot. In fact, I want to cry right now. Boo-hoo! <laughs> no further questions, Mother Goose. Aww. Aww. Wow, that is a lot of snow. Seems like they really took you that early. <laughs> Let's call up the prosecution, Mr. Jack the Beanstalk, to cross-examine the witnesses. Now, Pigs, you had said that that the wolf came to your door and blew down your house. But do you even take the time to learn why he was really there? Well, no, but... Exactly. That's what I thought. And have you met Ernest Wolf before this incident? No. And have you ever met or talked to any wolves before the kind and thoughtful Mr. Ernest Wolf? <laughs> <laughs> I have seen them, but I have not interacted with any because I am afraid and I tend to eat pigs. Is it possible that Mr. Ernest Wolf was there because he was concerned about your health and your ability to breathe? I guess. And might it be true that he had no desire to eat you because he is in, fa in fact a vegetarian? Is that true, Mr. Wolf? Are you a vegetarian? No. Oh. I'm vegan. <laughs> <laughs> no further questions. Peace, you may be seated. Let the defense call a witness, please.
please? Very man called Little Red to, to this day. Her 
reset health factors, plus the medication she may might be on, her blood type, her favorite TV show, uh, if she had trouble breathing, and then finally her home address. And you gave him all the information he needed? Answer them to my best ability, yes. Can you recall how the conversation ended? He told me he would do his best to help my grandmother. And then he gave me his card. Here it is. Ernest D. Wolf Salesman, Airport Deluxe 5000. Then he said we'll probably meet again. Mother Goose, I'd like to have my client take this man. Me too! Get on up here, Wolfie!
Then I panicked and I went to the hospital to have Bernie surgically removed. Well, what happened when Little Red arrived? Well, I felt very sick and I told her the truth. And she called her Pixie to save me, as she did just now. And thank you, by the way. All in a day's work. <laughs> and ready to blow your mind with some surprise witnesses. I'd like to call up Sensei Kuroku and his apprentice, Yai. about how you were trying on the wolf. And after 
after each house, he would say to the mystery person, this one is, this one has been taken care of. Do you know what he, me what, what he meant by that? Could he have just told his boss that he sold another machine? Well, we believe Mr. Wolf has actually been saying illegal breathing machines to get money for a super evil boss. Super, super evil, evil boss! Again, like I said, yeah, his super evil boss, also known as the Golden Guitar. The Golden Guitar! Justin Bieber. 
I'm the team. He is a guitar. <laughs>
drawn to the jury, and they are going to decide whether Mr. Wolf is innocent or guilty. Is he the bad guy that they say he is, or is he just an innocent door-to-door -door salesman? Let's check in with the jury and see what they are deciding. Helen Reed and I'm eight years old 
and uh, I play the pixie who, who's, who saves the red. Hi, um, I'm Austin. I'm 10 years old, um, and um, I really love Cobra Kai, so I'm Sensei Fugaku. My name is Kyla Foreman, and I'm 10 years old, and I played Yasha, the, that was the princess of uh, Fugaku. Hello, my name is Alex Yamal, and I am 10 years old. I play the golden guitar, which is much better than you. Hi, my name is Oscar Edward Murkowski. I play as the big bad wolf in, uh, well, I'm, ten, I'm nine years old, and I'm the offender. My name is Neil Folsom. I am nine years old, and I play as Jack D. Stock, the, the attorney for defense. Hello, my name is Graylin, Graylin Carlson. I am ten years old. And surprisingly, my birthday was on Easter this year. And um, I played Little Red. And I'm Kelly, that's Miss Summer. Um, and once again, let's take a bow for being writers, writing a play in two days. Also, they are all the, also the costume and set crew. They built their uh, a number of their own costumes and definitely um, their own set pieces. So let's give it up for that. And that's all I have. Anybody else have anything to say? You did awesome! Yeah. I think we need to get full light. For yeah, yeah, we're just walking. Full, full light for exiting, maybe? Is this full light? There we go. Yay! Have a great day!